Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear sisters and brothers, on this Tuesday, as we come closer and closer to the Lord's birth, the celebration of the Lord's birth. My dear sisters, my dear fathers, my dear families, my dear youth, youth in a particular way today, uh, may God bless our, each one of us and bring us closer to him. We begin this Eucharistic sacrifice, putting ourselves in God's presence, asking his forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have grievously sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through your only begotten Son have made us a new creation, look kindly, we pray, on the handiwork of your mercy, and at your Son's coming, cleanse us from every stain of the old way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please sit. A reading from the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to her who is rebellious and defiled, the oppressing city. She listens to no voice. She accepts no correction. She does not trust in the Lord. She does not draw near to her God. For at that time, I will change the speech of the peoples to a pure speech, that all of them may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Cush, my worshippers, the daughter of my dispersed ones, shall bring my offering. 
on that day you shall not be put to shame because of the deeds by which you have rebelled against me for then i will remove from your midst your proudly exultant ones and you shall no longer be haughty in my holy mountain but i will leave in your midst a people humble and lowly they shall seek refuge in the name of the lord those who are left in israel they shall do no injustice and speak no lies nor shall there be found in their mouth a deceitful tongue for they shall graze and lie down and none shall make them afraid the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god our response shall be the lowly one called and the lord heard him kindly repeat the lowly one called and the lord heard him i will bless the lord at all times praise of him is always in my mouth in the lord my soul shall make its boast the humble shall hear and be glad our response the lowly one called and the lord heard him look toward him and be radiant let your faces not be abashed the lowly one called the lord heard and rescued him from all his distress our response the lowly one called and the lord heard him the lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy the remembrance from the earth when the just cry out the lord hears and rescues them in all their distress our response the lowly one called and the lord heard him the lord is close to the broken hearted those whose spirit is crushed he will save the lord ransoms the soul of his servants all who trust in him shall not be condemned our response the lowly one called and the lord heard him alleluia alleluia come o lord do not delay forgive the sins of your people alleluia the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory, glory to you o lord jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people what do you think a man had two sons so he went to the first and said son go and work in the vineyard today and he answered i will not but afterwards he changed his mind and went and he went to the other son and said the same and he answered i go sir but did not go which of the two did the will of the father they said the first jesus said to them truly truly i say to you the tax collectors and the prostitutes go into the kingdom of god before you for john came to you in the way of righteousness and you did not believe him but the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him and even when you saw it you did not afterwards go change your minds and believe him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers the first reading of today's mass is taken from the prophet zephaniah uh, i think that i'm sure that quite a number of you of us i would say i should not say only you us did not even know that there's a book uh, of the prophet zephaniah would not have heard the name it's not a much heard of name it's a very but he is a prophet prophet one of the prophets of the year around the year 630 or so and a uh, very small book just three chapters and it's read i think maybe today it's being read in advent but it was uh, it's a it's a book which speaks of the coming of the lord coming of both the comings the one when he comes to judge fiercely and he's really you've got to face the judgment seat and you are really uh got to be judged for your good deeds punished for your bad deeds uh, and the other one is of course the coming of the messiah into israel that's 
These are the two things it is clubbed together in this reading. And uh, the little uh, elderly people among us who are participating uh, will remember that when you went for funerals, the, uh, you began the mass with the antiphon, Dies uh, Ire Dies Illa, the hymn was, the same hymn would be said uh, always, the antiphon would be said at the very beginning. And at the burial itself was Libera, deliver me, O Lord. Uh, that, that was a common hymn. It's, the liturgy is slightly changed, theological focus has changed, it's more meeting Jesus. But this was, the focus was on judgment at that time. This was a little before, around the time of Vatican II. And uh, this, both those hymns are taken from this particular book, Zephaniah. So now it's not much used. But then there's a, there's a second, second part also of this book, Zephaniah, which speaks of when the Messiah comes, what will happen? He says that you shall not be put to shame the deep, because of the deeds by which you will, I will remove the proudly exultant ones and you will not be haughty anymore. And sort of in the sense that the Lord will protect, speaks of the good times, how the Lord will purify and allow ourselves to purify. But it's, uh, we, we are going on this uh, journey towards Christmas and we must allow the Lord to purify us as the prophet Je Zephaniah speaks of the purification of the people as they want to come to the Lord. The Gospel of St. Matthew, the Gospel that you and I have heard before, and uh, it really puts before us, doesn't praise anything, it's a parable uh, told by Jesus. Two sons, one, the first one, maybe the favorite of the father, says, uh, uh, first one says, uh, I will not go, it may not be the favorite, second one is probably the pet, I will not go, but afterwards he repents and he does what the father wants. And the second one, the pet, says, yes, 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 daddy, I'll do it, but doesn't do it. And Jesus asks, who did the will of the father? And then, so Jesus really tells us, uh, puts before us two examples, and we've got to choose. One are people who uh, profess, uh, make their profession like tax collectors, prostitutes, people who are unjust and cheating. They, they, openly they are not disciples of Jesus, but gradually hearing the message, they begin to be converted. Thank God. But the others are those who just uh, pretend everything is okay, but don't do the will of God. And so Jesus puts us to these two uh, possible cases wants us to choose. The ideal, of course, would be to say yes to God and to follow his will. To be, to be his true disciple, we must say yes to the Lord when he calls us, when we hear his call, and then follow it to the extent possible uh, in our lives, trying to be better and better. Also, the message to us is that even if you're, you have said no to him before, even if you're a tax collector, you're a sinner, uh, you can still Listen to the message and come back to him. No one is lost. There always is a possibility of coming back to the Lord. And for us to hear, therefore, the word of God and come to Jesus. To prepare ourselves for his coming into our lives. Prepare ourselves for us to meet him. Let us continue to do so. God bless. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness of this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
to your goodness with this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased. Receive the sacrifice which we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my sins and cleanse me from my iniquity. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and bars of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, so without end we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our poor, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be equals to our life, praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. To you, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father, in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, I leave you peace by peace I give you. Look not on our sins but the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The sign of peace. Christ, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Just judge, 
will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly await his coming. Let us pray, replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking of this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass Senate, let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you very much. Yeah. Lovely week ahead. And we are approaching Christmas soon and lots of challenges for us. Today's uh, catechesis will be by Deacon Ivan. He's going to speak to the youth about the challenges of Christmas what Christmas can mean to us, and what Christmas calls us to do. I think, happy we are. God bless you. Have a lovely day. We pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The day of the Lord shall come as prophets foretold, as prophets foretold. When Christ shall make all things new, God's word. In winter, predict the time, the day of the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, make no delay. Come, Lord Jesus, light up our way. Come, Lord Jesus, make no delay. Come, Lord Jesus, light up our way. Day of the Lord shall come, a thief in the night, a, thief in the night. a curse to those in the wrong who think they are right, who think they are right. a pleasure for those in pain with death at the door, with death at the door. a true liberation for the prisoners and poor. Jesus, make no delay. Come, Lord Jesus.